Good morning, YouTube. It is September 11th, around 6.30 a.m. F Utah. I am about one hour away from Provo, where I have a court hearing scheduled for 9 a.m. Wish me luck. We have made it to our exit in Provo, Utah. Wish me luck. Good morning, YouTube. I have arrived here in Provo, Utah for my court date. I'm a little bit nervous, a little bit stressed, but overall ready to handle this shit. Day by day by day by day. So if you're here to see the judge fill this paper out for me. To all the orders that the judge gives you today. For example, if you're ordered to pay fine. Good morning, Your Honor. Are you for this I do not. And I need to know your address. 4825 Loretta Lane, Orlando, Florida. Did you come to Utah just for this? I, I came back, I moved to Grand Junction, Colorado about two months ago. Uh, I run a small transportation company hauling boats and campers. I, uh, I dead run from Arizona yesterday to make sure I could be here. crazy for me even to get here today and I okay. already lost two thousand dollars worth of jobs and I have one for tomorrow. So. so we can well we can schedule it out a little further to so we can schedule it on Monday or something to to allow you to come in on the weekend, get your prints done first thing Saturday or Sunday morning and then come to court Monday if you'd like or we can pick a different day if that works easier for you, but we can't proceed until we've got the prints. Is there a way I could run and do them today or no? Yeah, you could run. You can, you can try know. and tell them, they, they stop at 10 o'clock, that's the biggest yeah. problem. Somebody but you can tell them that you're from out of state and see if that will make a difference. There's no guarantee, however. Even if I plead guilty, it doesn't matter, I have to get the fingerprints. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna not be able to make it again out here. It's like almost impossible for me to get out here. I mean, I can try, but like. So, how far out do you want to set your next hearing to get this? Thing? I have no clue. I thought I was just gonna have to show up today and handle it all in one day. So, I have jobs like I'm shaking right now because I'm gonna lose contracts and I can't really afford to. To lose them if I come back like I really don't know what to do because I could say I'll be back but I live in Florida like it's a long long way away from home I moved to Grand Junction but I appreciate that yeah. you on. You understand the charge? yes sir I understand you have the opportunity to hire a counsel or be represented by an attorney yes your honor you're waiving that right to report on your behalf? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm the charge of possession of drug paraphernalia at Class B misdemeanor. How do you plead? I plead guilty, and I'm very sorry. I'll never do it again. Uh, $680 fine. How do you want to pay it? Uh, can I do monthly payments on that? You may. $65 a month, starting within 30 days. Thank you. I can't describe how much I appreciate that. All right. Fuck the feds. Free 420. We are free, Nico Ball! Well, as you might know, court went as good as it could. I got a $680 fine. I'm just very happy that I don't have to be back in Utah for any legal obligations. 
I'm feeling blessed and I'm ready to head out to Idaho Falls for my next pickup. I should be arriving around 2 p.m. today. Keep guard, Nico, that's right, boy. Crossing into Idaho, we are about an hour and a half away from picking up the 18-foot camper and towing it down to Ventura, California. And there she is. Early next year, I plan on upgrading my truck and living out of one of these in the back of the truck for about a year or two until I save money to buy a property. America! And I was right, there she is. up and ready to go crossing back into Utah F Utah Thank you for viewing if you are I'm ending the episode here it is 10 p.m. we're on I-15 South Probably gonna stop up in about 30 minutes near Cedar City, Utah. Yep, anyways, thanks.